As night falls and tranquility wraps around the world, let's ease into a journey of imagination and wonder. Find your cosy corner, breathe deeply, and release the day's tension. Tonight, I share with you a tale from a realm of magic and harmony, the tapestry of peace, where light contends with darkness and peace, faces the challenge of war. In this kingdom of beauty and unity, a secret power lies with Princess Ariella, capable of weaving the very fabric of reality. As we venture into this story, let it be a bridge to dreams, a lullaby of courage and magic, guiding you to a restful sleep. Prepare to drift into a world beyond our own, where every twist and turn in our tale is a step closer to peace. Close your eyes, let go, and let the story carry you to the sweet embrace of dreams. Welcome to our journey tonight. Chapter 1. The Loom of Destiny Once upon a time, in a realm where the sun kissed the earth with warmth and the moon bathed it in silver light, there stood a kingdom renowned for its prosperity and peace. This kingdom, nestled between emerald woods and crystal clear rivers, was a haven of harmony where people of all kinds lived in blissful unity. However, beyond its borders, envy brewed in the hearts of neighboring lands. These realms, cloaked in shadows of greed and strife, banded together casting a dark cloud of war over the peaceful kingdom. The king, a wise and just ruler, watched with a heavy heart as the threat of destruction loomed closer. Despite his efforts to forge alliances and seek peaceful resolutions, the drumbeats of war echoed louder each day, fueled by the relentless ambition of his adversaries. The kingdom's once vibrant streets filled with whispers of fear and uncertainty as its people looked to their sovereign for salvation. In the royal chambers, beneath the weight of a golden crown, the king pondered the fate of his realm. How can we preserve the peace that has blossomed in our land for generations? He mused, gazing out at the starlit sky searching for an answer among the constellations. Little did he know, the key to salvation resided not in the stars, but within the walls of his own castle, harboured in the heart of a young princess with a secret gift. In the heart of the kingdom, where the gardens bloomed with eternal spring and laughter echoed through the marble halls, lived Princess Ariella. With hair as golden as the dawn and eyes mirroring the clear blue sky, she was not only beloved for her beauty, but cherished for her kind heart. Yet beneath this grace, Ariella harboured a secret as extraordinary as the stars themselves. From a tender age, Ariella discovered she could weave tapestries that shimmered with magic. Her fingers danced over threads, spinning tails that leapt from the fabric, alive with enchantment. This gift, passed down through generations, had lain dormant until it sparked to life within her, a legacy of her royal bloodline. The princess's gift remained concealed, shared only with the old royal mage who became her mentor. Together, they explored the depths of her abilities in the castle's highest tower, hidden from prying eyes. Your gift, princess, is a rare magic that binds the fabric of reality itself, the mage would say, his eyes twinkling with wonder. But it must be shielded until the time is right, for its power could be a beacon for forces dark and greedy. And so, Ariella wove in secret, creating tapestries that captured the essence of the world around her, whispering forests, soaring mountains, and creatures of myth and legend. 
Each piece was a window into realms unseen, brimming with magic and mystery. Yet, as tensions rose beyond the castle walls, a restless spirit grew within her. She longed to use her gift for a greater purpose, to weave a tapestry that could mend the frayed edges of her kingdom's fate. As dawn painted the sky with strokes of pink and gold, a solemn assembly gathered in the grand courtyard of the castle. Knights clad in shimmering armour, wise scholars with scrolls under their arms, and common folk from the farthest reaches of the kingdom stood side by side, their faces etched with concern. At the heart of this gathering, upon a balcony adorned with the kingdom's colours, stood the king, his presence commanding silence among the murmurs. Murmurs, my beloved subjects. The king's voice resonated, strong yet laden, with a sorrow that mirrored the shadows threatening their lands. We stand on the brink of darkness, as forces beyond our borders seek to extinguish the light of peace that has guided our kingdom for generations. I have sought every path to peace, every avenue of diplomacy, yet we find ourselves facing the spectre of war. A hush fell over the crowd, the gravity of his words sinking into every heart. Thus, I issue this decree, he continued, a call to the wise, the brave, the inventive. Let us find a solution that might steer our kingdom away from the path of conflict. Any who can offer a means to secure our future, let them step forward. Our hope lies not in swords and shields, but in the unity and ingenuity of our people. Among the sea of faces, Princess Ariella stood, her heart alight with purpose. This was the moment, the sign she had been waiting for. With a resolve that shone brighter than the morning sun, she stepped forward, breaking from the crowd to ascend the steps to where her father stood. The king looked upon his daughter, surprise etched across his features as she approached. Father, Ariella began, her voice clear and strong. I come before you, not as your daughter seeking protection, but as a princess offering salvation. I possess a gift, one that has been kept hidden until now, for it is a magic that can weave the very fabric of fate. Whispers swirled through the crowd as Ariella revealed her secret, the power to bring to life tapestries that held within them the essence of magic itself. I propose to weave a tapestry so powerful it will encapsulate the peace we so dearly cherish a masterpiece to shield our kingdom from the ravages of war. The king, moved by his daughter's courage and the revelation of her gift, embraced her. My child, if your heart believes in this path, then so shall I. We shall place our hopes in your hands and in the magic you wield. And so, with the decree made, Ariella's secret was a secret no more. The kingdom buzzed with renewed hope, a light in the darkness as one of their own. Their princess embarked on a quest unlike any before. The stage was set for a tale of magic, courage, and the quest for peace, with the fate of the kingdom woven into the very threads of Ariella's tapestry. In the days that followed the royal decree, Princess Ariella prepared for the task that lay before her, a journey that would lead her to the heart of the castle's oldest secret. Guided by the royal mage, whose knowledge of the castle's hidden paths was unparalleled, Ariella descended into the depths of the earth beneath the castle. Their torches flickered against the ancient stones, casting shadows that danced like spirits of the past. At last, they arrived at a door, covered in vines and forgotten by time. With a word of magic from the mage, the door creaked open, 
revealing a chamber untouched by the passage of centuries. There, in the centre, stood the ancient loom, its wood darkened with age but still strong, threads of silver and gold woven into its frame, glimmering faintly in the torchlight. This loom, the mage whispered, his voice filled with awe, is a relic of your ancestors, princess. It was with this very loom that the greatest tapestries of our kingdom were woven. Tapestries that held the power to shape destiny itself. Ariella approached the loom, her hands trembling as she touched its ancient wood. A sense of connection, of belonging, surged through her. The loom seemed to awaken at her touch the air around it shimmering with unseen energy. Your gift and this loom are bound by the same magic, the mage continued. Together, you possess the power to weave not just fabric, but the very threads of fate. The tapestry you will create can safeguard our kingdom from the darkness that threatens to engulf us. With determination in her heart, Ariella resolved to master the loom. Day and night, she practiced, her magic flowing through the loom, learning its secrets and the patterns of power woven into its framework. Each thread she placed on the loom sang with potential, waiting to be shaped by her will. As she worked, the maid shared the legends of the loom Tales of tapestries that brought rain to parched lands, healed the sick, and revealed truths hidden in the shadows. But remember, he cautioned, the loom reflects the heart of its weaver. Your intentions, your desires, and your will must be pure. For the tapestry will bring forth not just what you seek, but what lies within you. Ariella listened her resolve only strengthening. She knew the path ahead would be fraught with challenges, but the loom had accepted her and she would not falter. The fate of her kingdom rested in her hands and she would weave a tapestry of peace, a shield against the storm on the horizon. With the ancient loom awaiting her return, Princess Ariella knew that the time had come to seek out the enchanted threads that would weave her kingdom's salvation. The first light of dawn had not yet kissed the horizon when she set forth on her quest, cloaked in the quiet determination that had become her constant companion. The royal mage, before her departure, had imparted to her the knowledge of where these mystical threads could be found. Each thread, he explained, is protected by a guardian, a test of your worthiness. You must prove your heart's purity and your intentions to each. The thread of courage was hidden in the depths of the whispering forest, a realm where shadows moved of their own accord and the trees spoke in hushed tones of ancient secrets. Here, Ariella faced the guardian of courage, a majestic lion with a mane of silver flame. To earn the thread, Ariella had to walk a path blindfolded, trusting her instincts to guide her. With each step, her heart grew steadier, her resolve firmer, until she reached the lion. In recognition of her bravery, the lion gifted her the thread, a strand of gold that shimmered with an inner light. The thread of wisdom awaited her in the mountains of echoes, where the wind carried voices from the past and the future. The guardian here was an old, wise owl whose eyes held the depth of the world's mysteries. Ariella was challenged to solve a riddle that spoke of time and eternity. Pondering deeply, she realized that the answer lay not in the words, but in understanding the cycles of life and nature. Impressed by her insight, the owl bestowed upon her the thread of wisdom, a silken strand that glowed with a soft, radiant blue. 
The thread of love was the most elusive, guarded by the guardian of love herself, a celestial being dwelling in the heart lake, where the waters reflected the true soul of those who gazed upon them. To earn this thread, Ariella had to look into the water and confront her deepest fears and desires, to prove that her heart was capable of pure, selfless love. As she faced her reflection, Ariella's heart swelled with love for her people, her family, and even those who threatened her kingdom. Acknowledging her pure heart, the guardian of love presented her with the thread of love, a radiant strand of crimson that seemed to pulse with life itself. With the enchanted threads in hand, Ariella returned to the castle, her spirit lifted by the trial she had overcome. Each thread, imbued with its own powerful magic, was a testament to her courage, wisdom and love. The kingdom awaited her return with bated breath, their hopes pinned on the princess who had ventured into the unknown and emerged with the promise of peace. Upon her return, as the last light of day surrendered to the velvety embrace of night, Princess Ariella approached the ancient loom with the enchanted threads in hand. The castle, a silent witness to centuries of history, held its breath as if aware of the momentous task about to unfold within its walls. Under the watchful gaze of the moon, whose silver light streamed through the tower's windows, Ariella began to weave. The loom, recognizing the magic within the threads, hummed with a life of its own. Each thread vibrated with the power of the elements it represented. Courage wisdom and love, intertwining to form a tapestry that shimmered with an ethereal glow. As she worked, Ariella poured her entire being into the weave, her hopes, her fears and her dreams for her kingdom. The tapestry took shape, revealing scenes of harmony and peace, visions of a future where laughter filled the air and children played without fear. Each stroke of her shuttle was a prayer, each knot a promise for a better tomorrow. The challenges she had faced to acquire the threads now became her strength, guiding her hands with the courage of the lion, the wisdom of the owl, and the love that had shone in her heart at Heart Lake. The tapestry depicted not just the peace she wished to see, but the journey she had undertaken. A testament to the belief that love could conquer strife. Night turned into day, and day faded into night, as Ariella worked tirelessly, her focus unwavering. The royal mage, ever her guardian and guide, watched over her, marvelling at the magic unfolding before his eyes. The tapestry grew, a living story woven into the fabric of destiny. Finally, as the first light of dawn painted the sky with hues of new beginnings, Ariella tied the final knot. Exhausted but filled with a profound sense of fulfillment, she stepped back to behold her creation. The tapestry, now complete, glowed with an inner light, its magic palpable in the air. The scenes woven into the fabric came to life, moving and changing, showing the possibility of peace and unity. It was a masterpiece that held within it the power to change hearts, to inspire hope where there was fear and love where there was hatred. As the kingdom awoke, word of the completed tapestry spread like wildfire. People from all corners of the realm gathered at the castle eager to witness the magic that promised to save their land. The king, with tears of pride in his eyes, stood beside his daughter, looking upon the tapestry that shimmered with the promise of peace. The story of Princess Ariella and her quest for the enchanted threads, 
her tireless work under the moonlit sky and the masterpiece she created would be told for generations. It was a tale of how courage, wisdom and love, woven together, could forge a destiny of peace. With the moonlit weaving complete, the kingdom stood on the cusp of a new era, one that awaited the awakening of the tapestry's magic and the fulfillment of a princess's dream for peace. Chapter 2 Threads of Challenge As dawn heralded the new day, the kingdom of Arlandia stirred with a sense of hope. Its eyes turned towards the castle, where Princess Ariella had woven her tapestry of peace. Yet within the heart of the princess herself, a storm brewed, a tempest of doubt and fear about the path that lay ahead. The tapestry, with its threads of magic, now faced its first true challenge, the thread of courage. Ariella understood that for the tapestry to wield its power fully, she must first imbue it with courage by confronting her own fears. The kingdom, though filled with hope, still teetered on the brink of war. The shadows of doubt crept into Ariella's heart as she pondered her creation's potential. Can a tapestry, woven from the threads of my hopes and dreams, truly save us? She questioned herself, gazing upon the masterpiece that shimmered under the caress of the morning light. It was then that the royal mage came to her, sensing her turmoil. Princess, he said, his voice a beacon in the storm. Your tapestry is a marvel a testament to your strength and purity of heart. But remember, the greatest power it holds is the courage you wove into its very fabric. You must believe in it, as you believed in yourself when facing the guardians of the threads. Ariella took his words to heart, knowing that the first step in proving the tapestry's power was to demonstrate her unwavering courage. The kingdom needed a beacon of hope, a sign that peace was within reach, and she realized that she must be that beacon. Thus she declared a gathering, inviting envoys from the neighboring lands, those who had once threatened the peace of Arlandia. In the grand hall, beneath the high arches of the castle, the tapestry was unveiled to all. Its scenes of harmony and unity glowed, a silent plea for peace amidst the brewing storm. The envoys, skeptical at first, could not help but be captivated by the tapestry's magic. Yet it was Ariella's speech, her voice steady and full of conviction, that truly reached their hearts. This tapestry, she proclaimed, is more than a piece of art. It is a vision of what our kingdoms could achieve together. I wove it with courage, facing my deepest fears, for I believe in a future where our children can grow in a world without war. Her courage was infectious, inspiring those who heard her to look beyond their differences. Though not all were convinced, a seed of hope was planted that day a testament to the power of courage not only woven into the tapestry, but embodied by the princess herself. As the assembly dispersed, whispers of admiration and reconsideration filled the air. Ariella, standing before her tapestry, felt a newfound strength. She had faced her fears, speaking of peace in the face of doubt. And though the road ahead was fraught with challenges, she had taken the first step with unwavering courage. The tapestry, now infused with the real courage of its creator, began to glow even brighter, a beacon of hope for all to see. Ariella knew that this was only the beginning, for the threads of challenge were many, and the tapestry's power would be tested further. 
Yet in her heart, the flame of courage burned brighter than ever, illuminating the path towards peace. With the thread of courage woven not just into the fabric, but into the very soul of the kingdom, the next challenge awaited Princess Ariella, the thread of wisdom. As the kingdom watched, Hope mingled with anticipation for what the princess and her magical tapestry would face next. In the days that followed the gathering, Ariella's courage became the talk of the kingdom and beyond. Yet, the path to peace is woven not just with bravery, but with the intricate patterns of wisdom. The princess knew that the next strand of her journey would challenge her in ways courage alone could not conquer. As the tapestry shimmered with the golden light of courage, a subtle change began to manifest. The second thread, wisdom, now demanded its due. This thread was not as easily discernible as courage. It was a deeper hue, one that required Ariella to look beyond the surface to understand the complexities of peace. The kingdom of Arlandia, though buoyed by the prospect of peace, still faced dissent within its borders and scepticism from without. Ariella realized that to weave the thread of wisdom into her tapestry, she must navigate the labyrinth of diplomacy, understanding not just her own kingdom's desires, but those of their erstwhile adversaries. She sought counsel from the wise, elders, who remembered past conflicts and longed for lasting peace. Scholars who studied the histories of lands far and near. And even the common folk, whose simple truths often cut to the heart of the matter. From each she gleaned insights, understanding that wisdom was not a single thread, but a tapestry in itself, made of diverse strands of experience and knowledge. Armed with this newfound understanding, Ariella proposed a council of peace, inviting not just the leaders of the neighbouring kingdoms, but representatives of the common people from all lands involved. It was a bold move, unprecedented in the history of their conflicts, where decisions of war and peace were often made by the few, far removed from those who bore the consequences. The council was met with scepticism, but Ariella, guided by the thread of wisdom, presented her vision with clarity and conviction. She spoke of a future where disputes were settled not on the battlefield, but around the table of diplomacy, where the voices of the common folk were heard alongside those of their rulers. It was during these discussions that Ariella faced her greatest challenge yet. A neighbouring ruler, still wary of peace, challenged her vision, questioning the practicality of her ideals. Ariella, feeling the weight of the wisdom thread, understood that true wisdom lay not in idealism alone, but in acknowledging and addressing the practical concerns of peace. With patience and insight, she addressed each concern, weaving the thread of wisdom through her words. She proposed trade agreements, mutual aid pacts, and cultural exchanges as tangible foundations of the peace she envisioned. It was a delicate dance, balancing idealism with realism, but Ariella navigated it with grace her every decision reflecting the depth of her understanding and the breadth of her vision. As the council drew to a close, a tentative agreement was reached, a testament to Ariella's wisdom. The tapestry, witnessing the princess's growth, glowed with a new light, the thread of wisdom woven into its very essence. The kingdom of Arlandia, and indeed all the lands involved stood on the brink of a new era, one where wisdom guided the path to peace. Ariella, looking upon her tapestry, now realized the truth that wisdom had imparted. 
Peace was not a state to be declared, but a journey to be undertaken. A tapestry woven with threads of courage, wisdom, and, as she would soon discover, love. With the wisdom thread secured, Ariella prepared for the next challenge, understanding that each thread woven brought her kingdom closer to the peace she so dearly sought. As the tapestry of peace shimmered with the hues of courage and wisdom, Princess Ariella approached the weaving of the third and most profound thread, love. This thread, vibrant and pulsating with the warmth of the heart, presented a challenge that delved deep into the essence of what it means to seek peace. Ariella understood that to truly weave this thread into her tapestry, she must embody the love she felt for her people and the sacrifices made for the sake of peace. It was a love that transcended the walls of the castle, a love that reached out to every corner of her kingdom and even beyond, to those who had once been called enemies. As she sat before the loom, Ariella paused, her hands hovering over the vibrant strands. She closed her eyes, allowing her heart to open fully to the memories and hopes that resided within. She remembered the laughter of the children in the marketplace, the gratitude in the eyes of her people as they spoke of the possibility of peace and the shared moments of understanding with leaders from neighbouring lands. Each memory, each emotion was a strand of love, ready to be woven into the tapestry. But with these warm threads came the sharp sting of sacrifice, the knowledge that true peace often demanded difficult choices, the letting go of long-held grievances and the extension of forgiveness where bitterness once took root. With a deep breath, Ariella began to weave, her hands guided by a love profound and all-encompassing. The thread of love intertwined with those of courage and wisdom, creating a pattern so intricate and beautiful that it seemed to pulse with life. Scenes of unity and harmony emerged, depicting not just the peace Ariella dreamed of, but the journey taken by all hearts involved to reach this point. Yet, as she wove, Ariella's heart was tested. She felt the weight of the sacrifices made by her and by those who dared to dream of peace alongside her. She understood that love, in its truest form, was not without pain. It was the courage to embrace this pain, to see beyond it to the greater good that love sought to achieve. The tapestry, under her skilled hands, became not just a vision of peace, but a testament to the love that fueled it. A love strong enough to bridge divides, to heal wounds, and to forge a path where once there was none. As the final thread of love was woven, the tapestry glowed with a radiance that filled the chamber, spilling out into the night, a beacon of hope for all to see. Ariella stepped back, her heart both heavy and light, knowing that the tapestry she had created was more than a masterpiece of magic. It was a declaration of the power of love to overcome the greatest of challenges. It is the kingdom, witnessing the completion of the tapestry, felt the embrace of Ariella's love. It was a love that spoke of sacrifices made and the promise of a future where peace reigned. The people, moved by the princess's dedication, rallied behind her vision, their hearts joining in the chorus of love that the tapestry sung. With the third thread of love woven into the fabric of destiny, Ariella had completed her challenge. The tapestry now stood as a symbol of the journey taken by a kingdom from the shadows of war to the light of peace, guided by the courage, wisdom and love of a princess who dared to dream. 
The challenges faced in the weaving of the tapestry were but a reflection of the trials of the heart. A reminder that peace begins not on the battlefield, but within the souls of those who seek it. And as the dawn broke over Orlandia, it heralded not just a new day, but the beginning of a new era, woven with the threads of a peace that would endure. With the tapestry now radiant with the essence of courage, wisdom and love, Princess Ariella's masterpiece had become a beacon of hope for the kingdom of Arlandia. Yet, in the heart of night, where shadows whisper and dark intentions lurk, a new challenge arose to test the strength of Ariella's creation and the resolve of its weaver. As Ariella's efforts brought her kingdom closer to the dawn of peace, there were those in the shadows who watched with envious eyes, their hearts twisted by malice and a desire for discord. These dark forces, remnants of a time when strife and conflict fed their power, sought to undo the threads of peace Ariella had so delicately woven. Under the cloak of night, they conjured a storm of shadows, a tempest born from the deepest fears and doubts of the people. These shadows crept silently across the land, slipping through cracks and under doors, whispering words of despair and reigniting the embers of old animosities. Ariella, sensing the disturbance in the fabric of her kingdom, stood before her tapestry as the first tendrils of shadow reached the edges of her work. The tapestry, aglow with the magic of peace, became a battlefield of light and darkness, its threads straining against the encroaching gloom. The princess, though wearied by her labours, knew that she could not falter. The love she held for her people and the dream of peace that had guided her hand became her shield against the despair. With the royal mage at her side, Ariella cast a circle of protection around the tapestry, a barrier woven from the same threads of courage, wisdom and love that the tapestry itself held. Yet the battle was not hers to fight alone. As the darkness sought to overwhelm the light, the people of Arlandia, feeling the stirrings of despair within their hearts, looked to the castle and the princess who had dared to dream of peace. Remembering the hope that her tapestry had inspired, they gathered, uniting their voices in songs of harmony and unity. This chorus of hope, a melody stronger than any shadow, pierced the night, weaving through the air to bolster the barrier Ariella had created. The tapestry, responding to the collective will of the people, shone even brighter, its light repelling the shadows and dispelling the seeds of despair. The night of shadows, though fraught with peril, became a testament to the strength of a kingdom united by hope. The dark forces, unable to withstand the purity of the tapestry's light and the resolve of Arlandia's people, receded into the darkness from whence they came, their power waned. As dawn broke, casting golden rays across the land, the people of Arlandia emerged from their homes to find the tapestry unmarred, its glow a comforting promise in the light of day. Ariella, standing before her creation, felt a renewed sense of purpose. The night's ordeal had not only tested the strength of her tapestry, but had also reaffirmed the unity and resilience of her people. The night of shadows, though a time of trial, became a beacon of hope for other realms, a story of how darkness could be overcome by the light of courage, wisdom and love. And as the tale spread, so too did the dream of peace, a dream that had been woven into the very fabric of Arlandia's destiny. 
With the darkness vanquished, Ariella knew that her journey was not yet complete. The tapestry, though strong, needed to be affirmed in the light of day, its promise of peace to be tested further. Yet, with the love of her people as her guide, she stepped forward into the dawn, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. In the quiet aftermath of the Night of Shadows, the Kingdom of Arlandia awoke to a world where the threat of darkness had been repelled. Yet the air was tinged with a palpable tension. Princess Ariella, having stood firm against the creeping despair, found herself confronting a new adversary, one that emerged from within, the Weaver's Doubt. As the sun rose, casting long shadows that danced across the castle walls, Ariella stood before her tapestry, its colours glowing softly in the morning light. The masterpiece that had rallied her people and held back the darkness now seemed to her eyes a fragile thing, its threads quivering with the weight of her fears. Could a tapestry, woven from the very essence of her hopes and dreams, truly possess the power to end the impending war and bring lasting peace to her kingdom? The question haunted Ariella, a spectre of doubt that clouded her heart and shadowed her thoughts. The courage that had driven her to face the guardians of the enchanted threads, the wisdom that had guided her through the Council of Peace, and the love that had fueled her fight against the night's shadows, all seemed to wane in the face of this new challenge. The weaver's doubt, insidious and quiet, wove its way through her resolve, threatening to unravel the very fabric of her confidence. The royal mage, ever watchful, noticed the change in Ariella. Princess, he said, approaching her with a concern that mirrored the unease in her eyes. The tapestry you have created is a thing of unparalleled beauty and power. But remember, its strength lies not in the weave alone, but in the belief of those who stand behind it. Ariella listened, the mage's words a balm to her troubled spirit. Yet the seeds of doubt planted by the knight's ordeal proved difficult to dispel. She wandered the halls of the castle, seeking solace in the stone and mortar that had stood for centuries, a silent witness to the ebb and flow of peace and conflict. In her heart, she knew the truth of the mage's words. The tapestry was more than threads and colours. It was a symbol of hope, a declaration of a future fought for with courage, wisdom and love. Yet as the drums of war beat ever closer, the question remained, would it be enough? Constant reminder of the fragile line between hope and despair. It was during these moments of introspection that Ariella found herself in the castle's garden, where the flowers bloomed with defiance against the coming chill of autumn. There, amidst the beauty of nature, a realization dawned upon her. Just as the garden required care and belief in the potential of each seed to blossom, so too did her tapestry require faith. Not just her own, but that of her people. The love that had guided her hand needed to be shared, to be nurtured by the collective hope of Arlandia. With renewed purpose, Ariella resolved to face her doubts, to weave them into the tapestry of her resolve. She returned to her masterpiece, not as its weaver, but as its guardian, ready to imbue it with the final piece of magic it required the belief in the possibility of peace. The weaver's doubt, though a challenging adversary, had revealed to Ariella the true strength of her tapestry. It was not in the perfection of its weave or the magic of its threads, but in the power of belief, the collective will of a people united in hope. With this understanding, Ariella stood ready to face the final test, 
to prove that her tapestry, woven with the threads of courage, wisdom, love, and now belief, held the power to change the fate of her kingdom and bring an end to the shadow of war. In the heart of her struggle, as the weaver's doubt cast long shadows over her spirit, Princess Ariella found herself standing at the crossroads of despair and hope. The tapestry, her labour of love and dedication, seemed to her troubled heart a beacon dimming under the weight of her fears. Yet, it was in this darkest moment that the light of hope began to shine through, its rays fueled by the encouragement and belief of her people. News of Ariella's endeavours and the challenges she faced had spread throughout the kingdom, carried on the wings of the morning breeze and whispered in the hush of twilight. The people of Arlandia, from the cobblestone streets of the bustling towns to the tranquil paths of the remote villages, spoke of their princess's quest with a reverence that transcended mere admiration. They spoke of her courage, her wisdom, and the boundless love she had woven into the very fabric of their future. As Ariella wandered through the castle's ancient corridors, lost in her sea of doubts, a soft murmur reached her ears. At first, it seemed but a trick of the wind, a melody carried from afar. But as she listened, the murmur grew clearer swelling into a chorus of voices united in song. Drawn by the sound, Ariella approached a window overlooking the castle grounds and gazed out upon a sight that would forever change her heart. There, in the glow of the setting sun, stood the people of Arlandia, gathered in vast numbers, their faces upturned and their voices joined in a hymn of hope. They sang of peace and unity, of a kingdom strengthened, not by the might of its swords, but by the bonds of its heart. And at the centre of their song was Ariella, their princess, the weaver of dreams and the harbinger of the peace they so dearly sought. Tears welled in Ariella's eyes as the realisation dawned upon her. The tapestry she had woven was not her burden to bear alone. It was a shared vision, a collective dream nurtured by the belief of every soul in Arlandia. Her doubts, though heavy, were but fleeting shadows in the face of the unwavering light of hope that her people offered. Emboldened by their faith, Ariella stepped out onto the balcony, her presence greeted by a surge of cheers. Raising her hands, she called for silence, and in the hush that followed, she spoke with a voice clear and resonant, touched by the emotion of the moment. My people, she began, your belief in me, in the dream we share, has been the greatest gift of all. I stand before you, not as a princess secluded in her tower, but as one of you, united in our quest for peace. The tapestry we weave, it is not mine alone. It belongs to all of our landia, a symbol of our hope, our courage and our love. As Ariella's words echoed through the evening air, a palpable sense of unity swept over the crowd, a bond forged in the fires of shared trials and shared dreams. The tapestry, once a mere fabric of threads, became a tapestry of lives intertwined, of destinies shared. That night, as Ariella returned to her work, the tapestry seemed to glow with a renewed vigour, its colours vibrant under her renewed conviction. The light of hope, kindled by the belief of her people, had dispelled the shadows of doubt, illuminating the path forward. With the encouragement of her people as her guiding light, Ariella faced the future with a heart buoyed by hope. The challenges that lay ahead, though daunting, seemed surmountable. 
for she knew that she did not face them alone. The kingdom of Arlandia, with its princess leading the way, stood on the brink of a new dawn, ready to embrace the peace promised by the legend of the tapestry. The light of hope, a beacon amidst the darkness, reminded Ariella and her people that even in the bleakest moments, hope could flourish, transforming despair into dreams and dreams into destiny. Chapter 3 The Masterpiece of Peace in the golden light of dawn, as the first rays of the sun breached the horizon, casting a warm glow over the kingdom of Arlandia, Princess Ariella stood before her loom with a heart filled with determination. The tapestry, a testament to her journey and the collective dreams of her people, awaited its completion. Today she would weave the final strokes, imbuing the masterpiece with all the love, wisdom and courage she possessed. The castle was silent, holding its breath as Ariella approached her task with a reverence befitting the moment. The threads, vibrant and alive under her skilled hands, seemed to dance with anticipation eager to play their part in the final act of a story that had captured the hearts of all who had witnessed its unfolding. Ariella's hands moved with precision, guided by the countless hours she had spent at the loom. Each movement a stroke of the artist, a whisper of the heart. The tapestry, which had begun as a dream, had grown under her care into a living, breathing entity pulsating with the magic of hope and the promise of peace. As she wove the last threads, Ariella reflected on the journey that had brought her to this moment. The challenges she had faced, the gathering of the enchanted threads, the night of shadows, the weaver's doubt, had all served to strengthen her resolve, to hone her spirit. Each thread of courage, wisdom and love she wove into the tapestry was a testament to the trial she had overcome, a tribute to the people who had stood by her, believing in her vision. With each knot she tied, Ariella poured her essence into the tapestry. Her hopes for her kingdom and her dreams for a future where peace reigned supreme. The colours blended seamlessly, creating a panorama that told the story of Arlandia's journey from the brink of war to the threshold of a new beginning. And then, with a gentle sigh, Ariella tied the final knot. Stepping back, she beheld her creation in its entirety for the first time. The tapestry was alive with colour and light a vibrant depiction of peace that seemed almost to breathe, its scenes moving subtly as if caught in a gentle breeze. The castle began to stir, its inhabitants drawn by the sense of anticipation that permeated the air. The king, the royal mage, and the people of Arlandia gathered in the great hall, where the tapestry now hung in a place of honour its glow illuminating the faces of all who beheld it. As Ariella presented her completed masterpiece, a hush fell over the crowd. Then, as one, the people of Arlandia erupted into cheers, their voices a chorus of joy and gratitude. Tears of pride filled the king's eyes as he embraced his daughter, his heart swelling with love for the princess who had woven their hopes into a reality. The tapestry, with its final strokes completed, stood as a beacon of what could be achieved when courage, wisdom and love were united. It was more than a work of art. It was a symbol of the power of hope, a reminder that peace was not a distant dream, but a possibility that lay within their grasp. As the kingdom celebrated the completion of the tapestry, 
Ariella looked on with a sense of fulfillment that transcended words. She had faced the doubts that sought to cloud her heart, the shadows that threatened to engulf her kingdom, and emerged with a masterpiece that spoke of peace, a testament to the enduring strength of the human spirit. The final strokes of the tapestry were not merely an end, but a beginning, the dawn of a new era for Arlandia, where the legacy of peace woven by a princess's hand would guide its people toward a future bright with promise. In the grand hall of the castle, under the watchful eyes of the kingdom's inhabitants, the tapestry hung, a silent witness to the unity and hope of Arlandia. As Princess Ariella tied the final knot, a hush descended, a moment suspended in time, pregnant with anticipation. Then, as if responding to an unseen signal, the tapestry shimmered with a light so brilliant, it seemed as though a piece of the sun had descended to dwell within the fabric itself. The assembled crowd gasped in wonder, their eyes wide with awe as the tapestry's magic awoke, its threads glowing with ethereal light. Before their very eyes, the images woven into the fabric began to stir, to move with grace and purpose. The scenes of peace and harmony, which Ariella had crafted with such love and care, transcended the realm of mere depiction to become windows into a possible future. Fields of golden grain swayed in a gentle breeze. Children's laughter echoed through the hall, and nations once divided by borders undefined now came together, their peoples joining hands in a dance of unity. The tapestry, imbued with the magic of Ariella's hope, courage, wisdom and love, painted a vision of a world where peace reigned supreme, where the hearts yearning for a life free from the shadow of war became reality. The royal mage, tears of joy gleaming in his wise old eyes, whispered to those nearby. The tapestry doesn't just show us what might be. It calls to the deepest part of our souls, urging us to make this vision our truth. As the light from the tapestry bathed the room, something miraculous occurred. The divisions and doubts that had once festered in the hearts of the people began to dissolve, replaced by a sense of shared purpose and renewed hope. The magic of the tapestry, powerful and pure, awakened not just the images within its weave, but the collective spirit of all who beheld it. From the balconies to the farthest corners of the hall, people of all stations and origins stood together, united by the promise woven into the very fabric of the tapestry. They saw not just the peace that could be, but the peace that they, through their beliefs and actions, could bring into existence. Ariella, watching the transformation unfold, felt a profound connection to the tapestry and to the people it inspired. It was as if the magic of the tapestry flowed through her, linking her spirit with that of every soul in the kingdom. In that moment, she realized that the tapestry's true power lay not in the magic of its threads, but in its ability to reflect the hearts of those who wished for peace. To remind them that such a future was within their grasp, if only they dared to reach for it. The celebration that followed was unlike any Arlandia had ever known. Songs of joy and hope filled the air, echoing off the castle walls and out into the streets, where the news of the tapestry's magic spread like wildfire. The kingdom, once shadowed by the threat of war, now glowed with the light of unity and peace, a beacon for all the world to see. The tapestry's magic awakens, a moment when the fabric of reality seemed to bend to the will of hope and love,
would be remembered for generations as the turning point in Orlandia's history. It was the moment when the people chose to believe in the possibility of peace. Inspired by a princess's dream and the magic of a tapestry that brought that dream to life. As the tapestry's magic unfolded within the Grand Hall, casting its luminous spell over all who witnessed its awakening, the Kingdom of Alandia found itself at the heart of a profound transformation. The light that emanated from the woven scenes of peace and harmony pierced through the veil of uncertainty and fear that had long shrouded the land, illuminating a path forward that many had dared not even dream of. Outside the castle walls, word of the tapestry's magic spread with the swiftness of the wind, carrying the promise of peace to every corner of the kingdom. From the bustling markets of the capital to the quiet villages nestled in the rolling hills, people paused in their daily toils to listen, their hearts stirred by the tale of a tapestry that had brought to life the vision of a world united in harmony. The reaction was immediate and profound. Soldiers, who had once steeled themselves for the inevitability of war, now found themselves questioning the purpose of their arms. They looked to their neighbours, once seen as potential adversaries, and saw instead fellow souls yearning for the same peace depicted in the tapestry. Across borders that had once delineated divisions, envoys of peace were sent forth, carrying the message of the tapestry and its call for unity. Even the most hardened sceptics, those who had scoffed at Princess Ariella's dream, could not deny the power of what they witnessed. The tapestry did not just suggest peace. It invoked it, weaving the very essence of harmony into the hearts of those who beheld its magic. In the towns and villages, people gathered to discuss the future, inspired by the tapestry's vision. Old grievances were set aside, replaced by a collective desire to forge a new beginning. The tapestry, a masterpiece of peace, became the kingdom's guiding light, a symbol of what could be achieved when hearts and minds united in a shared purpose. Leaders of factions that had once vied for power now sat together in council, not as rivals, but as equals, driven by the common goal of peace that Ariella's tapestry had inspired. The discussions were not always easy, for the road to peace is fraught with challenges and the need for compromise. Yet, the tapestry served as a constant reminder of the stakes, of the world that could be if they dared to lay down their arms and embrace harmony. The kingdom's reaction was a ripple that turned into a wave, reaching even beyond Orlandia's borders. Neighbouring lands, touched by the tale of the tapestry and moved by the sincerity of Orlandia's quest for peace, responded with overtures of friendship and proposals for peace. The tapestry had not only transformed Orlandia, but had also become a beacon for the world, a testament to the power of art, love, and the unyielding human spirit to transcend the darkness of conflict. As the days passed, the tapestry became more than a legend. It was a living, breathing catalyst for change. Its magic, though rooted in the weave of the fabric, truly lay in its ability to awaken the dormant seeds of peace within every heart that beheld its beauty. In Arlandia, the tapestry's message fostered a renaissance of hope and cooperation. The kingdom, once on the precipice of war, now stood as a paragon of peace, a shining example of what could be achieved when a people united behind a vision of harmony and love. The kingdom's reaction to the tapestry, a moment of collective awe and inspiration, marked the beginning of a new chapter in Orlandia's history. 
It was a testament to the enduring strength of hope, the transformative power of art, and the unassailable truth that peace, once dreamed, could indeed become reality. In the wake of the tapestry's unveiling, a profound peace settled over the land of Arlandia. The kingdom, reborn in the light of harmony and unity, reached out to its neighbors, extending an olive branch woven from the very threads of the tapestry's magic. The moment of truth arrived, a pivotal juncture that would determine the fate of not just one kingdom, but many. Princess Ariella, at the forefront of this historic moment, stood as the embodiment of the courage and wisdom that the tapestry represented. With the eyes of the world upon her, she sent forth envoys to the neighbouring kingdoms, carrying with them the story of the tapestry and an invitation to witness its magic firsthand. The neighbouring rulers, intrigued by the tales that had crossed their borders, arrived in Arlandia with retinues of skeptics and hopefuls alike. They were greeted not with the pomp of diplomacy, but with the sincere warmth of a people who had glimpsed a future of peace and sought to share it with the world. The tapestry, displayed in the grandeur of the castle's hall, awaited its audience. As the neighbouring monarch stood before it, the scenes of unity and peace, woven into its fabric, came to life, echoing the hopes of Ariella and her people. The magic of the tapestry, palpable and undeniable, touched the hearts of all who witnessed it, softening age-old prejudices and opening minds to the possibility of peace. The talks of truce that followed were unlike any diplomatic meeting the realms had seen. Inspired by the tapestry and guided by Ariella's unwavering commitment to peace, the discussions transcended mere negotiations. They became a collective journey towards understanding, a shared quest to build a future where the prosperity of one kingdom did not come at the expense of another. Ariella, with the wisdom far beyond her years, facilitated the talks with a grace that belied the enormity of the task. She listened more than she spoke, allowing each kingdom to voice its fears, its hopes and its dreams. In her, the leaders found not just a princess of Arlandia, but a beacon of the peace they all yearned for. The moment of truth, charged with the potential to reshape the destiny of nations, culminated in an, an agreement that would stand as a testament to the power of hope and the strength of the human spirit. The neighbouring kingdoms, moved by the tapestry's call to peace, agreed to lay down their arms and embark on a path of reconciliation and mutual prosperity. As the accord was signed, a cheer rose from the people of Arlandia and their guests alike, a sound that carried across the lands, heralding the dawn of a new era. The tapestry, once a dream woven in the solitude of a castle tower, had become the catalyst for a peace that spanned borders, uniting former foes in a common cause. The moment of truth was not just a diplomatic victory, it was a victory for humanity, a reminder that even the deepest divisions can be bridged by the willingness to understand, to forgive, and to look beyond the self to the collective good. Princess Ariella, watching the seeds of peace take root, knew that the journey ahead would require the same courage, wisdom and love that had brought them to this point. But she also knew that they did not stand alone. Together, the kingdom stood on the precipice of a future where the tapestry's vision of peace was not just a possibility, but a reality being woven into the fabric of their history. In the wake of the momentous accord, a gentle tranquility descended upon the lands, 
a testament to the transformative power of the tapestry and the unyielding spirit of those who dared to envision a world united in peace. The once imminent spectre of war, with its dark clouds of dread and division, dissipated into the ether, leaving behind the fertile grounds for a new beginning. The arrival of peace, as it came to be known in the annals of history, was not marked by the silence of arms alone, but by the blossoming of a shared prosperity that transcended the boundaries of kingdoms. Fields that had lain fallow in anticipation of battle now teemed with life, their bounties a symbol of the abundance that peace could bring. Trade routes, long guarded with suspicion and hostility, opened like the petals of a flower welcoming the dawn. Caravans bearing goods, ideas and hopes wound their way through the lands, weaving a tapestry of commerce and camaraderie that enriched every kingdom involved. The tapestry, a literal weave of unity, found its metaphorical counterpart in the intricate web of relationships that began to flourish among the former adversaries. Under the benevolent gaze of peace, cultures intermingled, learning from one another and growing richer in the exchange. Festivals once confined to individual kingdoms now became celebrations of unity, with people travelling across borders not as conquerors, but as guests and friends. The arts too found a new renaissance in this era of peace, with artists and storytellers drawing inspiration from the collective myths and legends of the now united kingdoms. Princess Ariella, the architect of this new world, watched as her dream materialised into reality. The tapestry, once a beacon of hope in a time of uncertainty, now served as a reminder of what could be achieved when hearts and minds were aligned in the pursuit of peace. It hung in the Great Hall, a testament to the enduring power of love, courage and wisdom, its magic forever intertwined with the fate of the kingdoms it had united. But the true magic of the tapestry lay not in the threads and colours from which it was wrought, but in the transformation it wrought in the hearts of those who beheld it. It had not merely averted a war. It had sown the seeds of a lasting peace, one that grew and flourished in the soil of mutual respect and shared prosperity. The arrival of peace marked the dawn of an era where children grew up knowing not the clamour of swords, but the laughter of shared joy, where elders spoke not of battles past, but of the promise of the future. The tapestry had shown them a vision of what could be, and together they had turned that vision into reality. As the years passed, the tapestry became a pilgrimage site for those who sought to remember the cost of peace and the value of unity. It served as a beacon for other lands near and far, inspiring tales of its magic and the princess who had dared to dream of a world united in harmony. The legacy of the tapestry and the era it heralded were not merely the absence of conflict, but the presence of a vibrant, thriving unity that enriched every aspect of life. In the hearts of the people, in the prosperity of the lands, and in the bonds that now link the kingdoms, the peace that Ariella had envisioned became a tangible, living reality, a masterpiece of human spirit and kindness that will be cherished for generations to come. The arrival of peace was not the end of the story, but the beginning of a new chapter in the annals of the kingdoms, a chapter where peace was not just an ideal, but the foundation upon which they built their future.